Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gloria and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today I wanted to go through all of the philodendrons that are in my collection. So I have quite a few. It's by no means a very big collection, but you know, it's my collection and I'm pretty proud of it. So I hope you enjoy today's video. If you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So first, um, I think I might do it in the order of kind of least favorite to my most favorite. So we'll start off with this one, which is my Philodendron Moonlight. It looks very similar to the Philodendron Rush, but this one I think is more like of like an upright Philodendron versus one that climbs up and vines. Uh, so this is how it looks like. The new leaves come out really really neon and kind of like a bright yellow neon green and it slowly fades to a darker green color which you can see over here. The stems on these and the leaves itself are, are very very like thick and like kind of water retentive I would say. So it holds a lot of water in the stems and the leaves that means you can pretty much let it dry out completely and it'll be totally fine. So I love this one, super easy. I actually put it in one of my kind of really cute terracotta pots. Got this from the dollar store and I think it was like two, three dollars or something like that. And yeah, really like this philodendron, even though it's the last on my list, but you know, there's, there's other ones that came into my collection that I'm just, I don't know, head over heels over. So next I have my, philodendron heart leaf so this is just the green variety it's really starting to trail as you can see look at this looks absolutely stunning and it's just a really nice kind of beginner plant i would say and it makes like any room look amazing i would say that you definitely need this in your collection if you want something easy low maintenance and just looks very aesthetic so it vines beautifully. You can actually even stake it up and have it climb up a pole and the leaves will grow a lot larger, but I don't know, pretty content with the size. Like, it looks pretty good. Like, look at this. This one's pretty big leaf. It's nice and shiny. It's a little bit, I don't know, just amazing because it's heart-shaped. I love my heart-shaped philodendrons and this one I would probably never get rid of. So yeah, vining very nicely. Next up, I have my Philodendron Rio. So this is the Silver Star variety, and it has some variegation in the middle. It's kind of like silver and cream colored. And these leaves are a little bit longer, so still heart-shaped, but kind of like a very long tail at the end, which is kind of cool. Um, I rooted this from a single like long piece of a cutting that someone gave me when I bought my Thai constellation and it's since rooted completely perfectly. So there's growth points here, there's some over there. I think all of these are new leaves. This, this one is such a cute little baby leaf, but yeah, that one is a nice leaf and it's just doing great. In my DIY terracotta pot, <laughs> which is stained. So I went through three philodendrons so far. Next would have to be this one, which is my philodendron pink princess, which I'm sure you guys have already seen before. It has the beautiful half moon leaf here. And then this is kind of like a wonky leaf, but also sort of half moon with this beautiful variegation. The newest leaf doesn't really have much of anything, but that's okay because, you know, it's bound to come. This one is the leaf before that. Look at that big leaf. Oh my goodness. It's actually stunning. So yeah, I have this pretty much staked up on this DIY twine slash jute rope pole, which is pretty much already at the top. So I'm going to have to find a solution to this and upsize the pole. I'm probably going to have a moss pole after this because it just grows really quickly and I need something a lot taller. So yeah, I really like this. This one definitely needs like higher light and good humid environment so that the leaves don't come out kind of ripped. 
because some of my leaves came out a little bit ripped but now that i've upped the humidity and kept it very close to my humidifier i think it's going to do a lot better next is pretty much a cousin of the pink princess and it's the white princess but this one is just a little baby i bought it as essentially like a seedling it was so small and it's since put out two leaves with one on the way which is looking really big actually so that new leaf is on its way out this one is the leaf before that so the leaves are starting to get bigger as you can see that tiny little one and yeah it has quite beautiful variegation it's like creamy white and just it looks very splashy which i love as opposed to the white knight and the white wizard i think those are more brilliant white in terms of variegation and this is more like a creamy white kind of like the monstera tie constellation versus the monstera albo <laughs> which is i don't know it's kind of cool but yeah i really like that one next up i have my philodendron melanochrysum so you guys probably saw this in my previous video of me propagating this guy and repotting it i got this from you girl glen coco and it was a three leaf plant and now it's turned into this one i was so lazy to get my other one but you know it's doing fine it's still alive uh still the same condition <laughs> but yeah this is its beautiful leaf i can't wait for the leaves to get really really long and just super dark and velvety and this is the leaf before it so it's a little bit smaller but yeah as it kind of climbs up a pole or a stick whatever it starts to get bigger and bigger the leaves so i'm really excited for that and yeah, I put it into my own soil mix and it's doing great. It's out of isolation. I've kept it in isolation for about a week and you know, it's now introduced to my collection and no pests so far. So fingers crossed. And obviously last but not least is my absolute favorite, which is my Philodendron Gloriosum. And this is my favorite leaf so far but the newest leaf is much nicer so it's so big i don't want to really touch it too much just because it's still fairly fresh but you could kind of see that there's like pink veining that's on the leaf and yeah it just looks so stunning here that's a that's the best i can do i don't want to <laughs> really pull it any further but yeah, it's so nice. I love this plant so much. It's a crawler, so it grows along the top of the soil. And once it reaches the ed edge of the pot, that's when you have to repot it. So it's, um, you know, getting there. So I think it could probably grow out one more leaf before I have to put it up to an eight inch pot because right now it's in a six inch and it's got a few of the damaged import leaves, but I still love it because it's growing, it's healthy, it's doing fabulously and thriving in my care and that's my number one favorite plant and that pretty much concludes my philodendron collection i don't have too many like i said but i do really like the ones that i have in my collection right now and i hope you guys enjoyed today's video comment down below which one your favorite philodendron is in my collection and if you guys want to share which one you which ones you have in your collection i'd love to hear so if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.